guys, it's Myriad again with another book flip through and for those of you who enjoyed the last one we have another book by the incredible Terrell Whitlatch, The Principles of Creature Design, Creating Imaginary Animals. So for those uh, softback, paperback rather than hardback this time and this is a really good progression on from the work that you would have done with the first book. Uh, goes uh, focuses slightly less on the makeup, uh, the constituents of the creatures, and becoming more original, as you can see with our incredible crested flying uh, sort of ceratop dinosaur birds, which is the same thing. Yeah, but you'll you'll recognise you'll recognise some of this in the pattern and the progress and the way that she works through the material, and then uh, we see some uh, really cool sketches and developed ideas later on in the book. So, right. really do like her sketches. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a really nice dedication actually. Some animals everywhere, in the air, waters and on all continents, in zoos and aquariums, shelters, preserves and farms, in the countryside and within cities and in our homes, in the past, present, and in the world to come, in the pastures of heaven, this book is for you all. So, uh, a forward from this one, a set of Aaron Blaze is Ian McCaig, and our contents. Arctic LMX. So what's good as well, all the sketches in this chapter are pencil and the colour images are Copic markers, pencil and digital copies. The Creature's Journey. So from the first book this sort of stuff will look familiar. living views and then our plans and profiles and a couple of very cute characterizations ah so much like the first one i got this to as brain food to give me ideas and hopefully something to work through and work with when my skills develop or when i feel more confident as an artist at least Uh, this one's slightly more image based, there's not quite as much writing, but it's still hugely informative. And again, look at this. These are brilliant. Diplo Blub. Absolutely awesome. So on its hind legs like a bear. Family. These I love. Absolutely love stuff like this. Again, this will suit someone wanting to branch out into sci-fi or fantasy creatures giving them ideas and fantastic sort of master copy to work with as well when they 
if you can't come up with your own idea there's plenty in here for you to copy and to use as inspiration Domisa Ogbog, Governor's Consort. <laughs> and another thing that she introduces again our progressive work three is the scale. So it you know, doesn't come up to your hips, you don't come up to its hips, it's about as tall as you are. And then you just start splitting the cladistic tree up. Each weapon design is unique to each species, so absolutely brilliant. Just all these ideas that fall out and having the ability to express them onto the page, just pulling on that thread and seeing where it goes. a Slothosaurus Stegoth So clever, so cool Just Why do they hunt them? What do they hunt them with? How to make make believe believable because for all you authors out there suspension of disbelief is a thing but then you've got your an internal consistency you know, it doesn't matter if you break the real world's rules as long as you break them consistently within the world Skeletal and muscular makeup of the blood bird, and then hey, bring it out. It even goes into the nomenclature of the wings with the different colours, and just. After she's gone through all the effort of making it, she just gives you a few sketches. The tracker, he looks like he hugs with his mouth. <laughs> How creepy. It's like a bear trap and a hyena mixed together. And come back to the LMX. And the teasels we've got on the cover. Just a 
sketch a day keeps creature rat away. Draw. Draw when you don't want to. Draw when you want to. Draw when you don't know what to draw. And the same with writing. Write a little bit. Write for five minutes. Look at all this. Beta Splendens. Siamese Fighting Fish. Anglerfish. Gernards. Wow. Just play with ideas. Minutes at a time. And all of a sudden you filled up a whole book of like with ideas. And stuff like this is so important because it builds your visual library. The more stuff like this you draw, well the more you draw the better you get at it. The more stuff like this you draw, the better you get at drawing stuff like this, but then with the posing and the gesture drawing and capturing the motion, that being able to draw this will help you draw a jumping human or a dog or a bird that's just sprang into the air. And so drawing cats will make you better at drawing birds and just give you make you art just bring all of your art up. This horse is a whole mood. Horse, moose, baby moose. Sorry, it said horse here. Which is a zebra. Ungulates. We like a good ungulate. The Katurin Odyssey taking the real into the fantastic. Lemurs. Bazali. Anthropomorph anthropomorphizing. Absolutely wonderful. So much more colour stuff in here as well. If you like the other book, or if you have the other book, I highly recommend that you get hold of this because uh, the the first book helps you build a skill set, and this expands so much on what they what you get from the first book, and then broadens out into a more general artistic skills, world building, characterization, illustration, concept development. It's so good. Cat people and other denizens exploring character types. Our hero, our warrior, our sidekick. Beasts of burden and various felinoids. Fuggish felons. authors and writers in my audience when they say show don't tell this is the artist's version of it how brilliant is that the battle of the beasts Ideas, 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 ideas
getting a feel for the creature. Renderings. Everybody loves a kaiju. Uh, almost looks like they could take turns. Ah, yes, yeah, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Terrell's work, you might recognize one of the characters that we're going to see in the next few pages, and your opinion on said character might be slightly polarized. You have been warned. Uh, cross dressing Jabba. I know that's not what it says, but that's what I'm going with. Sibolba, the dog. Who, like some of the gymnast friends I know and circus performers, walks around on his hands most of the time. Ah, yeah, the announcer concept art. Gascano, Ben Quadraneros, the diminutive rats Tyrell. And then we have, of course, him. All of these throwaway characters with minutes of screen time. And him. All the work that gone into developing them. And then the world that they live in. And then of course we're back to dinosaurs. I think Terrell has a bit of a soft spot for our uh, Saurian predecessors. But who can't be inspired by something that enormous that lived that long ago? Now you know how little rancors happen. That's brilliant. So we've got, this is the stuff that I was really looking forward to, the, the character idea development for different animals, so got our ungulates, our pigs, the elephant, all these tiger sketches and different poses coming together. Then we've got mole rats, bats. Camels, and then the Night Hunter. And we're just drawing together influences from different creatures and making something that I can only describe as nightmare fuel. Good grief. sketches, quite detailed ones in this case, to explore different creatures and then taking the influence and making something original. It's brilliant. There's a YouTuber I know who does these regularly as live streams. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but there will be a link to her channel in the comments. 
uh, not in the comments, in the description below. I think if I saw a Sith riding into war on that, it might have some impact on the, the gravitas of the situation. that you've developed from the previous work, understanding the construction of the creature at an anatomical level and taking all of those different influences and making something brilliant. And here we go, chasing the unicorn and paving your own path. Enjoy this flick through guys. Uh, for more details, check the description below. That's it. Thanks for tuning in.